Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I guess we'll just get right into the video today. I don't have really anything else to say, but essentially for my video today, we are going to be doing a haul slash unboxing. Now this is only like a mini haul. I only have a few things, but I still wanted to go ahead and do this video because yeah, why not? What I have to unbox today here is this hamster mail box. So this is actually like a subscription box you can get. So this is what the box looks like here, you know, it says hamster mail and there's a little hamster, it's cute. So yeah, and ignore the fact that it's squished, that was my fault, I squished it anyways. So this is the box, um, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Oh, I dropped something. First, I noticed when I open it up, there's two little cards in here. I'll take a look at them in a minute. Before I go any further into this video, let's just talk a little bit about the subscription box. So this is actually a new subscription. This is actually a new subscription box, and it's all for hamsters. And like, I'm sure it can be used for other small animals as well. But it's specifically designed for hamsters. Now, this video is not sponsored. I am not being paid to do any of this. But the company was kind enough to send me this box for free. So I thought I would go ahead and open it on camera and review it for you guys. So here on this card is just some information about the company, like all about them. So I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. So this is company's words, not mine. We are a new business who is based in the UK that has just launched in May of 2018. We are a team who are passionate about hamsters with a mission to provide a monthly box of healthy, safe, and fun toys for hamsters worldwide. It's really important to us to only use the best products available for our subscribers, and we promise to never include any products with nasty added sugar. Each box includes a minimum of two toys and two treats with change each month so every month is a surprise so that's just like a little bit about them that's what it says here and now a little bit about the shipping it says we ship worldwide for just two euros and our subscriptions can be cancelled at any time our first subscribers boxes are going to be sent out on June 21st and the hamster mail boxes will be sent out on the 21st every month following that so to sum it all up this is a UK based brand hamster subscription box um, they're new their first order is going out on June 21st so if you want to get one order before then every month they donate to a new like hamster organization that helps hamsters and they only include safe and healthy hamster products which is good because I'm sure a lot of us hamster owners know that there are some products on the market that are not safe for hamsters so it's good that they're only including the good ones okay now that that is all out of the way I feel like that took way too long let's go ahead and open up my box first thing I want to say is I really like like I really like the packaging and stuff I don't know if you guys know but yellow is like my favorite color so personally I really like the box so it says that each box includes a minimum of two toys and two treats so let's go ahead and start with these. So this is the first thing I pulled out of the box. It says um, they're called Simply Nibbles. So these are obviously little treats. And they are garden herb and apple cushions. Cushions? A crunchy treat with soft real apple and herb filling with added vitamins. And on the back, it says that they are ideal for hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, mice, hamsters, and rats. Yeah, these are those. This is the back. We'll have to go ahead and offer these to my hamsters in a bit and see if they enjoy them. And then, so this is the second thing I pulled out of the box. This is the second treat. So these are one of those little, like, sticks you get that have a bunch of different treats and like foods like seeds and whatnot stuck on them that the hamsters really like and it says that this is the sugar-free recipe and it says that this is the fruit it's fruit with dates and apricots meant for hamsters yeah i'm sure my hamsters will really like these this is the back of it and there's a bunch of stuff on there that i'm not going to read but i'm sure the hamsters will love this Next up, we have a little package of chew toys, and I'm actually really excited about these. These are um, all just like wooden chew toys, and the reason I'm really excited about that is because I find, where I live at least, I have such a hard time trying to find wooden chew toys, and 
those are like some of my animals favorites like all of my small animals like my rabbits my hamsters and whatnot they all love wood like wood is their favorite thing to chew on but yet for some reason there's not that many wooden chew toys available around me they're all like grass chew toys like hay and woven stuff I don't know anyways so I'm excited about these because I always have a hard time finding wooden chew toys but now I have some finally <laughs> That is good, I am happy about this. Okay, and then the last thing I have here is this Rosewood Boredom Breaker Play and Climb thing. It says, hours of stimulation fun for hamsters, mice, and gerbils. So this looks really cute. I mean, you can see it down there. I'm actually going to go ahead and open this up and take a look at it out of the box. Obviously it comes in a couple different pieces, so you have to like put it together yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So here's what it looks like out of the box. So it has a couple like holes in it that the animals could climb through and then there's like a wooden platform here and a wooden platform here. So now I do like this toy, but I don't think I would use it for a Syrian hamster. Dwarf I think it would be okay for, but these holes aren't very big and I feel like a Syrian would definitely get stuck in them. So if you have a Syrian hamster, I wouldn't really recommend using this for them just in case they get like stuck in the holes. But if you have a dwarf or even if you have other animals, then I think this is really cute. I know I'm probably actually going to end up using this for my mice because I know that they will absolutely love this. They love climbing through little holes and stuff and they like to climb so these platforms and stuff will be really fun for them. So I think my mice are going to really really enjoy this. I'm sure they will love it. But like I said, I would not recommend using this for a Syrian hamster. I would only really recommend using it for like a dwarf or mice. Maybe gerbils, I don't know. I don't own gerbils, so I can't really think of how big they are off the top of my head. But yeah, I, I wouldn't use this for a Syrian hamster just because of the, the hole size. So that was it for my box. That was everything I got. Now that we've unboxed everything, what do you guys say if we go and test it out with my hamsters. We'll go and give them a look at everything. We'll give them some treats and see see their thoughts. Okay, so here we are in my small animal room. I have two of my hamsters behind me. Pumpkin is right back here. Spice is down on the bottom here. And then on the other side of the room, we have my dwarf hamster and my mice. So I know Pumpkin's awake right now. I've seen him moving around. I don't see Spice anywhere. Let's take a look and see if Henry's awake, who's my dwarf by the way. So I just checked and I don't see Henry out. Um, I'll have to take a closer look, like open up his cage, but I don't see him out. The mice are out and pumpkins out. So let's go ahead and get them to test out some of these new products. I think first we'll take these little treats here, the Simply Nibbles treats and see pumpkin's thoughts. Here's pumpkin, my little serene hamster. It's like pumpkin's like one year anniversary since I've had him too. So that's, you get some nice treats for your, your one year anniversary, don't you, pumpkin? Let's go ahead and give him some treats. Are you ready for some treats? Ooh, you like it? Oh, he's not even pouching it. He's like eating it right away too. This is surprising. Usually like whenever I give a hamster something, they just like pouch it at first and they don't actually eat it, but he's literally eating it. Like he's not even pouching it. I would say that these first treats were a hit with pumpkin. He literally ate it right away. He didn't even pouch it. So I'm going to say pumpkin was a fan. Let's go ahead and try these ones out with him and see if he enjoys these. So this is what they look like out of the package. They have this little clip thing here so that you can clip it onto their cage. Now, I would not recommend leaving this entire thing in at a time because then they just might eat too much of it. So I would only recommend like putting it in and letting them eat a little bit and then taking it out so that they don't eat too much at a time. Okay, so I just went ahead and attached his treat over there. Now here's pumpkin again. Now we're just gonna put him right here and see if he likes it. Oh, do you like it? Ooh. I think pumpkin likes it, don't you? So it seems like pumpkin's enjoying this one also. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend just leaving it in here because then they'll probably eat 
way too much at a time, so I'd only recommend putting it in here and letting them eat a little bit and then taking it out. So I actually just saw Henry moving around in his cage, so I guess he is awake. So I think we'll go ahead and get him out and see how he likes the treats. All right, so this little guy here is Henry, in case you didn't know. He's a little cutie. So we're gonna go ahead and give him one of those, um, one of the first treats I gave Pumpkin, what were they called? We're going to go ahead and give him one of these and see how he likes it. Are you excited? All right, Henry. Want a treat? You want it? Henry here didn't really seem to have a huge interest in those treats, which I mean is fine. Some hamsters like things and some don't. Obviously we saw that Pumpkin really enjoyed them, but Henry didn't really have an interest in them, so that's okay. I guess we know that they're just, they're not Henry's thing. All right, Henry, say bye-bye. We're gonna go and put Henry back now. Okay, so now that we've went ahead and did a little taste test, whatever you wanna call it, let's go ahead and just get my final review of this hamster mailbox. Overall, I am happy with the box. The first thing I wanna say is I was impressed with the shipping. Now, keep in mind, this box is from the UK, so if you're ordering it into the US or Canada or anywhere else really, it will probably take a little bit longer to ship than if you were ordering from your own country. Obviously, like if you live in the US and you order something from the US, it typically only takes like a day or two to arrive, but when you're ordering from like when you're making an international order, it usually takes like up to two weeks to arrive. This hamster mail box arrived in I think a little under a week for me. So I was really impressed by that. I was expecting it to take a little longer. So overall, I was impressed with the shipping time given that it is an international order. Um, it only took like just about a week, which is fine for me. I think that's a good amount of time for an international order, so I was impressed with that. Secondly, I was impressed with the packaging. I already said yellow is my favorite color, so of course I liked it. But either way, I thought it was really cute. I thought the packaging was good. And lastly, let's talk about the contents inside the box. I'm really happy with the stuff I got. I got some good quality treats. And because of the fact that it is stuff from the UK, it's stuff that I can't buy here in Canada, so I thought that that was really cool. It, If you're not in the UK, like if you're in Canada or in the States, this is a good way to get some international products. So that's one thing I really like about it. I was able to get some cool products that I usually otherwise wouldn't be able to get around here, so that was really cool. And I just like the stuff I got. The treats were really good. Like you saw, Pumpkin absolutely loved them. Henry wasn't a huge fan. We'll have to test it out with Spice later when she's awake to see if she likes them. But of course, you know, every hamster likes different things. Some will like a certain treat and some won't. So that's just the way it is. But overall, I was impressed with the treats that I got. They were both healthy treats. There's no added sugar. They have good ingredients and Pumpkin really loved them both. And then last of all, the toys. I was really impressed with the toys. The only complaint I have would be about this one here and the fact that the holes would probably be too small for a Syrian hamster. But for me, that's not an issue because I know my mice are really going to love this, so I will be giving this to my mice. But if you were someone who only had a Syrian hamster, then this might seem just kind of like a waste because like I said, I wouldn't really want to risk them getting stuck in the holes. So yeah, that's my thoughts on this. I think that it's really good for dwarfs and mice, but not for a Syrian hamster. So if you are someone who only owns a Syrian hamster, then this toy probably isn't the best for you. So it may seem like a bit of a waste if you only have a Syrian. And then the other toy I got were these wooden chews, which I said I was really happy about because I have trouble finding wooden stuff around here, surprisingly. But I was really happy to get these. Pumpkin's drinking. I don't know if you can hear the water bottle, but if you do, it's just pumpkin. Overall, I was really happy with this box. I think that it's really good. I like that they help out different charities every month as well. I enjoy that they ship worldwide for a fairly cheap price. I believe it was two euros for international shipping which is about three US dollars or maybe even only 250 I don't know it's pretty cheap for international shipping that is 
So overall, I was really happy with this. Um, I enjoyed all the stuff I got in the boxes. My hamsters seem to be enjoying it also. So if you guys are interested in ordering one of these boxes, I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below. Like I said earlier, these boxes will be shipping out on the 21st of June. So if you wanna get this month's box, make sure you order before then. All of that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching this haul slash unboxing slash review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If, if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button, the thumbs up button, you know. Also make sure you hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever I post. Also check out all of my social media. Everything is Emma Sam 99 except for my Yuna, which is Emma L. Samson, but it will all be in the description below. So be sure to check all that out, guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video.